Hey guys, welcome back to Hana Hacks AI. It's been a while since I've done this, uh, but now I'm here. So let's get cracking. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Lovable AI, which is a very efficient tool if you want to quickly publish some websites. You can also do some app, um, some internal tools like maybe a calendar of your choice, or you want to do some um, lead generation uh, website, literally anything. So for today, I'm going to be building two things for you. First is a website. Um, how can you can quickly generate a website with a prompt and how you can edit parts of it. And um, Number two would be an app that you can create to record some data. Um, it's not going to be very in detail, it's just sort of a high level overview for you and then you can probably play on your own when you have the time. So first of all, you're going to go to lovable.dev and uh, once you are here, you can actually see from the community what are people actually building, some very cool stuff over here. Um, well, and then you can click on getting started. So for the free version, what I have learned is you have a few credits to use and it's not, um, you can do certain things, but not everything, but it's still pretty good for you to just try something on your own. Right. So make sure you're clicking on, I agree to the terms and services, and then you can connect a Google account or you can just use an email and then start the signing process. But I'm just going to go with a Google account. So once you're done uh, signing up, it will ask you a few questions. Where did you hear about us? Um, what do you use it for? Okay, so now um, here's the UI and this is where we are going to put our prompt. But before we put our prompt, uh, I want you to use ChatGPT to actually create a very structured prompt. So now let's get to ChatGPT. So the type of website we're going to build today is sort of an information website, like a resume website. And the resume website, you can build it and sort of keep it handy when you're applying for a job or you're going for an event or whatever, whatever it's needed. You can sort of just submit your link. Um, so for that, we're going to be using ChatGPT. Uh, you can sort of copy paste the information from your resume and then this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask ChatGPT to create the lovable poem. Right, so as you know, the new ChatGPT takes a long time to think, but because this is on uh, YouTube or Reel that you're watching, it's just going to come in a second. Alrighty, so now that you have your uh, prompt ready, so you're now just going to copy over here, and now you're going to go to Lovable. Okay, so let's get ready to copy and paste our prompt over here. Of course, you can go in and edit anything that you want to add or remove. Um, you can also attach any file or images. So from uh, my side, I'll want to have my own image there. So I'm going to attach that. And I'm going to say use the image attached as my profile. Go to in the website. Okay, let's go. So again, this takes quite some time to create, but because you're watching it on video, so you're going to see it happening instantly. So, okay, now we can see that the website has been built. All I did was sort of upload my image, right? And then give my whole resume. So you can click on download resume. I don't know if that will actually download it. Um, oh, wow, you actually can download the whole resume. Okay. And then, um, oh, it's an empty file for now, I think. And then you can book a discovery call. Um, I think, I don't know if this button can work yet, but I think we will we'll figure it out. So it shows some stats over here. Um, well, these are the opener stats. Some signature program, of course, the lead opener signature programs, and then um, the experience timeline. Okay, this is quite cool the way it has put it together. The skin and expertise, alrighty. Um, some research publication. Let's see if this is clickable. So if you click on my publication, do you go to it? Yep, it actually works. Uh, Oh, not bad. And then uh, what are the leaders saying? So I think this is sort of made up. So I'll have to edit it. Hopefully I can edit it. And um, let's connect. All right. So far, this looks really cool. Um, now for us to edit it, for example, this is not something that I have in my... Um, I mean, these are not people that I know, right? So I'm just going to edit this part. I'm going to click here on edit. Okay, now I can actually edit each segment. So what leaders say, um, for example, I do have some recommendation for my 
um, LinkedIn that I can pull. Um, I've got the lovely Becky here. So I'm going to put her. Right. So when I click on it, what I can do is I can say um, ask for a change. So I'm asking, these to, asking them to replace this text here. And I'm going to submit this. Right. So now it has sort of given me um, whatever I have on my LinkedIn. And I can also edit the name. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll have to wait for it to be able to allow me to edit first, right? So again, now we go to edit. And I'll select the whole thing and I'll say change it to the actual person who gave me this testimonial. Okay, so the good thing is you don't have to go and edit it yourself. You can sort of just tell the AI what the changes that you want. So I've shown you how you can actually edit one part. Similarly, if let's just say I want to add that these stats are actually from the doctor, so I'm going to go to edit again. And I'm going to select the whole thing and say, um, right, so now this looks cool because, you know, these are data from the entrepreneur. So now it's, it's giving me the title already. Um, so we're going to wrap it up here for now. And then I'll probably be having another video where I can show you how to build the app. But this is pretty cool, you guys. And I can actually go to publish over here and just say um, publish. And I have the link already. I can also customize the website address to something that is most suitable for me. Of course, it will have to be lovable.app. But this is pretty cool. Um, now my website is uh, live. So let's look. How, let's together look at how it's looking like when it's live. Okay, so here's a final website um, up to what we you know we did together um, earlier on. If you click on the booking discovery call, it takes you to a Calendly link. Uh, so if you put the right link of your Calendly or your calendar, it actually can work. And you can also upload the right file for your resume. So and then it will when the person will click on download that will come uh, correctly. And also, I forgot to tell you that if you uh, click on the font, let's just say you want to change this font color, you can just click on the segment and give the AI the instruction that you want the color to be blue or whatever color that you want, right? Or you want the button to have a different color as well. Um, so this is um, really cool. I hope you are able to go ahead and create your own resume website or whatever website you want. Just use ChatGPT to create that prompt and you come to Lovable um, to put that in and you have a very structured website and you can click on each segment to edit it the way that you want to edit. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use Lovable to create an app that you can record your data or do some more, um, you know, productivity work. So stay tuned.